During this time of the year, we often take many things for granted, especially when our everyday needs are generally taken care of. For instance, one example is how abundant food often can be for many people in more developed cities or countries. Nutritious meals can be found almost anywhere, whether in a farmer's market, neighbor's garden, or simply in a friend's fridge. While many people never have to think of it, most of us forget that majority of our extended cousins around the world experience hunger or malnutrition throughout the week. Children often are sent to bed without dinner in their belly or off to school with no breakfast or sack lunch to nourish their body and minds. Families in smaller communities often struggle to provide adequate nourishment for their children who are preparing themselves for school and the busyness of life. While opportunities and resources run thin at times, there are people with integrity who take notice of the struggles and are working hard to make a difference. For one young man from Sierra Leone, food instability is an issue he is tackling head-on by sourcing land and resources, such as supplies, volunteers, and donors, to develop a diversity of community-based farming crops that create a sustainable source of fresh food and nutrients for the town's people. Daniel Josiah, founder and CEO of Seed of Life Sierra Leone, is a recent accounting graduate finishing with honors from Jola University. He is also accomplished with a background in research and education. Daniel's dream has been to offer something of importance to the people of his community. After identifying challenges and opportunities where he lives, Daniel realized the best way to help is to educate and direct the youth toward building the future for themselves and their families through agricultural entrepreneurship. After traveling many miles, working hard and earning a few donations, he was able to make the venture official. Despite these efforts, there is much more to be done. As it said, it takes a village, young CEO, Daniel, and school teacher Jesse Thomas are working with the students and young men of Tayoma who volunteer their time, strength, and energy to start the first Seed of Life agricultural project together. The youth of Tayoma are motivated to help Seed of Life take root and create positive change. It will be a few long hard work days this season and into the next, although they all know, soon enough they'll reap the social dividends of their collective sacrifice. Tayoma is quite far from many of the resources needed to easily cultivate crops and get to market once harvested. Most of the volunteers walk many miles to reach the project, often carrying supplies. Some committed to traveling over 15 miles round trip by foot to provide an extra hand. Fortunately, dry season has begun, now is a good time to prepare the land, cutting and clearing the bush. There is much to sacrifice. What they are learning is that farming is intrinsically about sustaining land, family, and community. Seed of Life appreciates the volunteers and plans to provide food, water, and fun activities and challenges to make the journey worthwhile. These young men are building leadership skills and ultimately knowledge on how to care for themselves and their families. Food independence is a state of being that every community should be able to attain. With proper funding and educational programs, people around the world will be able to learn how to cultivate and manage their own gardens and farms. Seed of Life, it's more than a farming venture, it's the answer to preventing hunger in the West African town of Tayomo, Sierra Leone, and neighboring communities. Despite the humble beginnings of volunteering and self-funding when possible, Daniel would like to request support from the global community who see value in his efforts and from state and local governments who may offer grants or other funding sources. Any help or support is appreciated in developing this critical movement. Locally owned and community-based farming provides agricultural pride, economic empowerment and a prosperous way of living for many people. And, whenever you experience the gratefulness of the youth who benefit from these agricultural projects, you realize how beautiful and critical supporting this effort will be for this generation and many more to come. We welcome you to learn more and support our course. If you'd like to become involved in our efforts, contact us. Otherwise, please, donate now. Together, we are making a difference in the world around us one child, one town at a time. Thank you.